Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on how to load JSON data to a SyncFusion Flutter data grid. SyncFusion Flutter data grid supports to bind data source of type data grid source. So, to bind a JSON data, you need to convert them to data grid source type. In this video, you will see how to add a SyncFusion data grid to a Flutter application, fetch the JSON data from an online source and convert it to a list collection. Then you will learn how to create the rows using the data grid source class for the data grid from the list collection, and then bind the rows to the data grid. First, open the VS Code Editor. You can also use an IDE you prefer such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, which allows me to run the application in mobile, web, and desktop devices. Now I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. Now, let me show you how to add a data grid widget and load a JSON data in this app. To do so, first, I need to import the SyncFusion Flutter data grid package from the pub.dev website. So, open the pub spec YAML file and declare the dependency SyncFusion underscore Flutter underscore data grid using the latest version. When you save the file, VS Code runs the command flutter pub get to download the package. The download is completed now. Next, open the main.dart file. Import the datagrid.dart library so that you can use the datagrid widget in this file. Let's write the datagrid related code within the my homepage state class. So, remove the code in the my homepage state class for the sake of clarity. Override the build method and within the build method, return a safe area widget to render the data grid within the usable area. To its child, set a scaffold widget so that you can set the material design to your application. To the scaffold's body, set the SF data grid widget. Now, I need to set the source and columns properties to the data grid. I have the data in this online source. You can see the fields such as order ID, customer ID, and many more in JSON format. Let me create a model class and convert this JSON data to a list collection first. Define a class named product. Declare a field of type int and name it order ID. Then, declare a string field to store the customer ID and then add other fields. Create a default constructor for this class that receives the parameters for all those declared fields. Next, create a factory constructor and name it from JSON, receiving the parameter map of type string and dynamic. Return the product object by setting the data from the JSON object. This constructor will help us to convert the product JSON data to product list collection. Next, let me create a method to map JSON data to list. To do so, define a method that returns a future list of product, generate product list. Within it, define a field to store the response from online data source. To use the HTTP related APIs, I need to import the HTTP package first. So, in the pub spec YAML file, import the package HTTP. In the main.dart file, import the HTTP.dart and set an alias name. In the generate product list method, use the HTTP alias name and call the get method and pass the URI. This will receive the response from the provided URL. As I already showed, the response is in JSON format. To use JSON-related APIs, import the Dart Convert package. To map the JSON object to product object, define a field and use the JSON codec and call the decode method and pass the response body. Call the cast method and pass the type as map of string and dynamic. To convert these objects as a list, define a field of type list of product and name it as product list and use the decoded products fields map method and use the product classes from JSON constructor that we created just before. Call the toList method so that you can get the products as list collection. Return the product list field. Next, I need to use this product list and convert this as data grid source that contains rows understandable by SF data grid. To achieve this, you need to inherit the data grid source class and convert each product row data to data grid row, where each data grid row contains a collection of data grid cell. The data grid source class's rows property and build row method helps to achieve this data conversion. So, define a product data grid source class that extends the data grid source class. Override the build row method. Override the rows property and assign a field to it. 
declare the field as list of data grid row. Now, I need to set this data grid rows field with values that I have created previously in list collection. To store the product list collection in this class, declare a field of type list of product. Define a constructor for product data grid source class and receive a parameter this dot product list. Within the constructor, call a method build data grid row where I am going to implement the list to row mapping logics. So, implement the method, and within it, set the data grid rows field with product lists map method. Here I need to pass the type as data grid row since my product list should be mapped to data grid row type. Create an inline function receiving a parameter and return data grid row. Set the cells property with a collection of data grid cell. Here I add the order ID column and set its value using the data grid row fields order ID. I do the same for the other columns too. You can see grid rows were defined with data and returned as a list of data grid row. I have added five fields so that I can show only five columns in the data grid. Next, in the build row method, create the widget required for each row. So, return the data grid row adapter class and set the cells property with a collection of container widgets. To its child set a text widget and set the data grid cells value as its data. For alignment, set the overflow property with value ellipsis. Also set alignment for the container widget. I do the same for other cells in the row. You can see I have defined the row with a collection of cells built using container and text widgets with product values to it. To access the date format class, I need to import the Intel package. So, in the pub spec YAML file, import the Intel package. In the main.dart file, import the Intel package. Next, let me create a method that returns the columns collection. Define a method that returns list of grid column, get columns. Within it, return a collection of grid columns. I have defined five columns. This method will show the name in the grid's column header. Next, let me create a method to get the product data grid source asynchronously. So, define a method that returns future of type product data grid source, get product data grid source. Within it, get the product list using the generate product list method that we created just before. Return the product data grid source by passing the product list field. To assign this product data grid source to the SF data grid, add a future builder widget so that you can access the data asynchronously from the remote location. Add the future property and assign it by calling the get product data grid source method. Add the builder property and create an inline function receiving the parameters build context and async snapshot. Within it, return SF data grid if the snapshot has data. Set the source property with snapshots data property which holds the latest data received by the asynchronous computation. In the columns property, call the getColumns method. If there is no data in the snapshot, then return a circular progress indicator. Set its stroke width property with a value. Now, everything is set. Save the file and run the application in the Android emulator. You can see the data grid with the JSON data. Let's see how the same code works in a web browser. I'll stop the application, change the device name to Chrome, and run the application. You can see the SF data grid with JSON data exactly as it was before, only in the Google Chrome browser this time. Finally, let me show you how this app works on the desktop. Stop the application. Change the device to Windows and run the application. We can see the data grid in a system window. That's it. Let me summarize the main points of this video. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter data grid widget to a Flutter project. You learned how to fetch the JSON data from an online source and convert it to a list collection. Then you learned how to create the rows using the data grid source class for the data grid from the list collection, and then bind it to the SF data grid. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and documentation link in the video description below. You can also check whether you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.